folks uh, just making this video just to show you how to tweak uh, Borderlands 2 how to get like better performance and better FPS and all that and how to actually lock it at 1280 by 720 because I've been noticing on my surface it locks at 1366 by 768 uh, but you could do this with any resolution you want to lock it at uh, I'll just show you uh, kind of how to get better performance out of it anyway like first thing you should do is go to properties if you've got it on uh, Steam go into the properties in Steam and go to local file files browse local files if you don't have it on Steam then you can easily just go into like wherever it is installed on your system and do the exact same thing and go into engine best thing to do like ad advise before you change like any settings in like any dot ini files or like any game is to save uh, the file before you actually go and start changing it about save it on someone on your desktop so if something does go wrong and it causes issues or whatever or you want to just default back to the normal settings that you started with then you can just copy and paste that in and just copy over that file and then that's all sorted so uh, I'll just go ahead and do that anyway the only one you you could copy the whole config file if you really wanted but uh, I'm just going to do the base engine.ini file that's the only one I really kind of need to copy so I'll just copy that put it in, my, put it in the config tweaks folder yeah, I'll leave that in there uh, and then you go to go back and you go to Willow Game. This is in the engine one, the first one. You go to Willow Game, config, and then default engine. So copy that, put that into there as well. Right, we'll go back to the engine and go into config again, base engine. Right, and now here we are. This is us uh, in the notepad. And the easiest way to find stuff like in a .ini file if you're ever having to do this again for any other games is just press Control and F and it'll bring up the, the find function and then you can type in whatever you try to find and then you know it makes it makes it life a lot easier instead of scrolling through everything trying to find what you're looking for so uh, for the first thing you can do is uh, uh, get rid of the frame rate smoothing so just press uh, B smooth frame rate Fine. So there we go. Down at the bottom, B smooth frame rate. If you change that to false, use all capitals for the false. So and then we'll find the next thing we're gonna do. So that'll kind of stop the smooth frame rate issues because that kind of gives people graphical issues and uh, vertical sync issues stuff like that. Uh, next thing be uh, max shadow res resolution. Any of these tweaks, by the way, guys. You don't have to do all of them you could do any ones that you feel like you want to do or undo certain ones to get a kind of happy medium between for performance and quality so any of them you could just do whatever like it it's meant to be a uh, for the max shadow resolution it's maybe 1024 as the default but mine seems to be 1120 but uh, you can have it like 1024 if you wanted or you just basically half it so 512 and if you wanted less than that you could go down to 256 uh, so we'll, we'll we'll just leave it at two five. I'll just leave it there. Uh, oh, uh, I'll just leave it at one thousand twenty four. I'm not too fussed about that. But if you do want to get like as much FPS you can in the game, you can bump it down to two hundred fifty six all the way because the shadows uh, are usually the, the thing that causes most issues uh, with games when you're trying to get the best performance out of them. Shadows seem to be the the worst thing. So uh, all you have to do is just save that file, save it in there. That'll be saved in your Borderlands 2 folder, back out to Borderlands 2, Willow Game, Config, and then go to Default Engine, open that, same again, maximise it, makes it easier to see, Control F, as usual, just to see what you're doing, and to find what you're after, and then Default Post Process Name, and it'll give you down to this one. So all you have to do is, the, the Willow Engine, you basically get rid of the Willow pieces in that, so just in this one, make sure you don't do it in this one. Make sure you just do it in the default process name. This why yeah, you make copies of it before you go ahead and do it, just in case you have any kind of issues or in case you delete someone by accident and you know it causes you issues. Go back to that. You can basically for the cell shading, you can basically create the name of uh, the scene post process to anything you want uh, for the to kind of make it the car. It gives it like a cartoon look. The uh, scene post process it gives it like a black kind of shading like Borderlands 2 always kind of has but uh, if you don't want to get rid of that then I'd advise you just leaving it the way it is you know don't don't play about with this setting at all uh, I'll just put mine to fucking fuck right I'll put it to that you can put it to whatever you want it really, really doesn't matter save and then you can back out of that and that's basically all the tweaks that you can do from that well you can get more but 
a lot of them you don't want to play around with is because it's just too much of a fuck about it, to be honest with you. Uh, and then what you can do after that, once you've gone back out of that, right, if you're in your Steam folder again, you can go to uh, set launch options if you want. This is for uh, forcing it to go into 1280 by 720 because I've noticed on Surface it does it uh, 1366 by 768. So all you have to do is go into set launch options. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do this if you don't have Steam. If you find the .exe file for Borderlands 2, uh, right click it and there should be a sort of like, uh, should be something in it that says target and in that target you can change that to this basically what I'm away to do and it should force it into 1280 by 720 without you having any issues. I'll just uh, show you how to uh, put it into 1280 by 720 so all you have to do is go into Borderlands 2, go into properties, go into set launch options, I've got, this is one I made earlier, uh, all you have to do is just type in, I put that as a dash, capital X, space, 12A, space, dash, Y, space, 720 and that should lock it at 1280 by 720 instead of 1366 by 768 which it seems to lock itself up for some abnormal reason but you can do that with any game any steam game game you've got you can always just go and do that in the launch options for certain games you know if you want them to be forced in like a certain uh, uh, uh re like resolution is when you've got any issues uh, with any of that kind of stuff you know if you if you do delete the files by accident you can always verify integrity of the game cache you can always do that again uh, if you just right click and go to uh, borderlands to properties and then go into the local files verify integrity of game cache uh, and that'll basically allow you to download files again so if you delete the files that you think you've you've corrupted or you've done something to them that you don't want to do you can always delete them and then download them again by clicking on that verify integrity of game cache and that'll allow you to get them back uh, to their default settings again if you do have any issues but um, as usual guys you know thanks for watching if you do have any issues with this or you've got any other further tweaks that you feel like people should maybe know about that might help them or whatever then uh, please just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can right thanks for watching Hey folks, just a little bit of gameplay of uh, me playing Borderlands 2 on uh, 1280 by 720 using the .ini settings that I've just shown you, uh, just to kind of show off like how it will look once you get these settings kind of finalised and that, but you can always tweak them however you want them to get yourself to a happy medium between performance and quality. So uh, anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.
throw a tea party and that guest of honor is missing! Do me a flavor and lure our guest to the party or I'll eat your babies. His name's Blake. Good. Right on, robot! No, lady, say I'm honey! Good night, sweet friend. <laughs> 